6.7, so it's not really massive in the modern game, but the wickets column was crucial. So 23rd over is done. It is 86 for six. Wrong and well played by Imad Wazim. Pick up a couple. Yeah, from a New Zealand point of view, down the ground and all the way for six right at the camera i think if we look at that camera shot i think we will see the ball either hit it or get very close to it and imad went straight to that square leg umpire and said that there's only four men in the circle so this is the six is a fantastic strike down the ground he's very powerful down the ground it's the ball hard and long and that's that's a great shot but he went straight to hit the cameraman did it hit the camera that was a free hit that one and that's gone all the way as well just about to say brilliant batting if he knew that there was not enough players inside the circle and straight away had the nouse to run down and try and hit six which he did and he's now got back-to-back -back sixes so brilliant from Ahmad yeah the awareness to to notice that and then tell the umpire after he hit the six that there's only four inside the circle that's cleared again he's back-to-back -back sixes so straight away Ahmad was in turned to the square league umpire See it only four in, got himself a free hit. He made New Zealand pay for the free hit as well. Into the gap. He's got a willing partner in Safras. Two runs call for, two runs take. Oh, bold. Really is. Just tailed a fraction. Get a couple more. So eight off the 46th. That's much better. Sills to the fielder looking for two. Got it comfortably. Was it uh, waste time? But again, it's falling safe. Half century to the left handed Ahmad was seen. That looks like a good shot. Has it got distance on it? No, gone. Imad bowls his first over and gets a wicket straight away. Ah! Oh, he's asking for a catch and he's been awarded. Just keep rolling, keep rolling, keep rolling frame by frame. Uh, Freeze it here. I can see there is a spike and ball next to the bat and there is no gap between bat and ball. You're on screen. Please signal. Yeah! Exactly like that, but it doesn't come off. It's slower, it's into the stumps, the sweep across the line. A very accurate Imad Vaseem enticing the batter and the batter while he's gone for it. Chad Bowles, he gets castled. And skipper, well, he can rejoice even more. Imad into the wickets, he's got his first. It's Bowles, he goes for 26. Gotcha. Latham goes for the sweep, he's top edge and fielder under, takes it! Harris Rose, brilliant on the outfield, bucks on draw, first blood. Nice heading across the swing path of Imad, but getting a top edge, rolling his hands on it. And, well, any catch is a good catch. A little bit of juggling from Harris Ralph. Pakistan, first blood from them. And it's the captain, Tom Latham. He goes for 13. He picks up two. Well, he's a tough bowler to hit through the leg side because the ball skids. Skids low to try and play that stroke. I think Will Young would have been better off trying to cut it just like he did the previous delivery. Imad. Well, he's making some impact in this game. There you go. Again, that bounce. It just didn't get up, did it? Mitchell was trying to get to the ball, came down the wicket and just went under his bat. And Rizwan does the rest. So that's three to the spinner here. 
getting through the ball. Mitchell wanted to get the intent, trying to get out to the pitch. It was just the wrong option to that delivery, and Rizwan as quick as you like. Oh, he had Pindi. Oh, he's chucked it on. Chad Bowles has been cleaned up. Third one walks to the dugout. He was looking great. Everything in the middle of the bat. That one giving himself some room, trying to hit him through the offside. You don't mind the strategy, but Imad Wazim has got the ability to skid the ball on. Catch it! It's in the air. Shouts off. Catch, and it is taken. Harris Rove with the catch. Imad Wazim gets his second wicket. And Imad once again showing why he is so good in this format. He picks up his second wicket and most importantly, it's of the danger man, Daryl Mitchell. Well, he hasn't dented this series in the way New Zealand would have wanted. Once again tonight, just the 15 off the 18.